Hey, happy Halloween. You guys ready to get started? This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. Let me turn that up just a little bit. How's that sound? I can't even get through my intro video and already have uh, folks like Joe popping in there saying good morning, leaving their comments to let me know that they are here. You should do the same. Whether you're watching live or on the replay, it's okay. Either way, it's fine. If you are not watching on Facebook Live, you need to head over 7minutesinthemorning.com, get you to the right place on Facebook where you can join the conversation, leave your comments on the topic of the week, which this week is fear. We're talking about what are you afraid of this week. Yesterday, we talked about fear of failure. Today, the second most common fear um, is what I want to talk about, and that is the fear of success. Really, really, it's not the fear of success, although tons and tons of people call it that. Um, the, the way I see it, the way I look at it, you're not afraid of succeeding. We all succeed. We've talked, we, we, we talked Monday about how failure is actually how we learn. And so what has happened over time is, I mean, think about it. How did you learn to walk or talk or ride a bicycle? I, I mean, you try it. That doesn't work. You try it again. You keep trying until you figure out how to do it. I mean, we, we've all done it. Even if you don't ride a bicycle, we've, by trial and error, we've learned to walk and talk. Right? So this, this process applies to everybody at some point along the way, usually somewhere in our educational career. We get trained that failure is bad. We don't want to fail anymore and that we should learn everything from someone else's experience. And so we kind of push this idea of failure and, and the success that goes along with failure. Right. As we, as we fail to, to speak the words correctly and we keep trying, ultimately we succeed. That success is at the end of the failure road. But because we have banished failure, we're like, oh, no, we don't want to do that. So now we, to, to say we, you know, we've kind of separated success and failure in two sides. Now I just want the success part, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of afraid of that. That's not really what you're afraid of. If you believe that you are afraid of success, what you are really afraid of is the unknown. And, and, and really, really, that's all any of us are ever afraid of. It's fear of the unknown. But there's the office assistant. Good morning, puppy dog. Um, the only thing we're ever really afraid of is fear of the unknown. We don't, we're not sure how this is going to turn out. Now, anxiety, well, that's a whole nother topic. But when you say you are afraid of success, what you're really saying, or, or landing, but if, if you're in an airplane, landing is a successful outcome. If, if you say you are afraid of success, you have a fear of success, then you're saying, I'm not really sure what life is going to be like after this success. And, and that fear of the unknown, is preventing me. It's the comfort of the known versus the fear of the unknown. Right? Think about it for just a minute. If you are saying, uh, you know, if we're successful, I'm not sure what that means to the family, where that takes us, what, you know, what happens with this, what happens with that. All of those are just unknowns. So how, how do you resolve that? Do you just say, well, okay, screw it. I don't know, but I'm going to keep moving forward anyway. Well, I mean, that's one way to do it. Maybe the easiest way to do it. But as with any fear, you can make an attempt to mitigate those, um, the unknowns. You can try to find answers to the unknowns. Now, and I think we'll talk more about this tomorrow or Friday. 
you can't find all the answers. And so to say, as soon as I know the answers, I'll be comfortable with the outcome and we'll move forward. Right. And that's what a lot of people, the same way we've, we've kind of changed the meaning of success and failure. We've changed the meaning of confidence where confidence is supposed to now is to most people means I know all the answers. It's a very predictable outcome. I, there's no risk at all. Well, no, there's not any risk if you know all the, all the answers. But let me, just let me hit you with this one. Let's just say for the sake of argument that you drive to work the same way every day. You're pretty confident with the result, right? You, you know that I turn, what do I do? I turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left, drive, right? What if a tree falls in the road? That's a, in, in psychology, it's called a pattern interrupt. Our brain has to break out of that pattern. Now my confidence is shattered. I should just turn around and go home. No, we don't do that. We find a way to route around it and we keep going. So why, why when we are looking at, at creating an outcome or, or pursuing some undertaking, why do we change the rules all of a sudden? Well, I've got to have all the answers so I can be confident of the outcome. You're not going to be confident of the outcome. All you can do are mitigate the risk factors. There's a, uh, actually a really good podcast episode coming out around lunchtime today uh, with me and my old buddy Tim Knox, where I talk about this. And it's probably a half an hour conversation about, um, not all about risk, but about starting a business. Um, but, but we do talk about risk and mitigating those risks and how you can know the answers. It is just not there. So here's what you do. Fear of failure. I'm, I'm sorry, not fear of failure. Fear of success is really fear of the unknown. So you try to learn as much as possible. But here's how I, I usually encourage my clients to approach that. Learn as much as you can in the next 30 minutes or the next 24 hours. It kind of depends on the scope of the undertaking. Learn what you can in a finite amount of time and then proceed. You, you can't, you're not going to learn it all. Get what you can in the next X amount of time and then start moving. All right. So question for you. Do you feel as though you face a fear of success or fear of the unknown? If you do, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you have done to overcome that. Or maybe this has been helpful for you today. That would be lovely to hear in the comments as well. And one other thing I'll ask you to do, if you know someone who is paralyzed by fear of failure or fear of success, do them a favor, send them a link to this week's shows. They We'll love you and appreciate you for that. It is Wednesday. That normally means a coffee shop show, but there is no coffee shop show today because my co-host is not um, ambulatory today. Actually, Eric's in the hospital. He uh, is a little under the weather. You can go check out his page. And if you want to, just leave him a uh, get well soon message over there. I'm sure he would appreciate hearing from you. Eric Mulford, Eric Mulford. I'll put a link to that. Actually, I'll do it right here, and I'll do it right now. You can just look him up on Facebook. Let's see if it'll let me at reply him. Oh, no, we'll see if that works. If it doesn't, I'll put it in the regular comments. All right, send him a little get well message. Let him know that you're thinking about him. We should be back with the new Coffee Shop Show next week. Uh, yeah. And then I'll put a link up when, cause I don't know where the podcast is going to show up that I did with Tim. When that shows up, I'll put a link here so you can see that as well. That's it for today. Be sure and join me again tomorrow. We're going to talk about another common fear as we continue through, uh, this fear week, week of Halloween. You guys have a fantastic Wednesday and I'll talk to you tomorrow. And now let me play the correct outro.